the surface, the John L. Dart branch may look like any other library, but this branch has one of the richest histories in the county and a special collection to prove it. Reverend John L. Dart was a um, leading minister and educator in the 1800s in Charleston. He was an African-American um, minister, educator. He was an advocate for the community. Um, he saw the need for education of black children because, of course, that was during the time of segregation. So they were not a part of getting a proper education from the public school. So he took his own money, his own property, to start a um, school on his family's um, property, Dart Hall and that subsequently became the Charleston Normal Institute, which is the basis for Burke High School. John L. Dart loved to read and had an impressive personal book collection. His daughter, Susan Dart Butler, picked up the mantle and using her father's books, along with some donations, started a reading room for African American. And that was uh, one of the few uh, public reading rooms that um, did not charge for people to use. And that became the Dart Hall Reading Room and Library, which is the first branch of Charleston County Public Library that was founded, and it was a few years before the actual free library itself opened. And without Dart Hall's reading room being present, the library would probably not have received some of the early funding we did from the Rosenwald Fund and the Carnegie Endowment so that we might not have existed, at least not in our present form, and certainly not when we did in 1930. So his books form the nucleus of that very first book collection. That collection is now housed at the John L. Dart branch. Some books are hundreds of years old and chronicle the evolution of Charleston. The collection is actually a mix of the uh, books that Reverend Dart and Susan Dart Butler own. So it's original books, like really old, rare books from 1800s, 1900s, and there's also a mix of more recent books. So it's kind of covering um, the history of the Dart Library from the original site to the present site. There's several books in there signed by Reverend Dart and also by Susan Dart Butler, and that's just a nice thing to see their signature in the books. Just looking at the collection, it seems like the Darts were a huge fan of Langston Hughes because we have several of his works in there. Um, there's local authors, um, local history, and also just uh, American history. And some books about Africa, too. The original Dart Hall reading room is no longer standing. That building is gone because they had to raise it to build the um, cross town. But preserving the Dart collection keeps the history alive. Everything else about the branch has changed. Who runs it has changed. Uh, the building it lives in has changed. The shelving it sits on has changed over the years. But these books are the one thing that still remains of that original location. And it just feels like it would be, it just, it just feels like it gives the building life to know there's this little bit of its history still here that can be accessed by any member of the community that wants to come take a look. It's dark. It's dark. Um, we wouldn't possibly be here if it wasn't for this collection. The Dart Collection is available for use within the branch. Just talk to a staff member to get started. And I'll see you next Monday to meet your library.